Okay. So let us continue, please. So it was uh, about the classical art. Okay. And uh, uh, the example uh, that was given over here was of a sculptor or a statue. And I'm sure that uh, you might have got the point. Okay. So let us move to the romantic. And here. A romantic art corresponds to painting, music, and poetry. A spirit is uh, dispersed into the community. Art shows itself, particularized in itself, and appropriate to subject. And here, uh, if you if you look at the table, it will certainly help you out in order to understand it. For example, these are the farms. These are the farms. Okay. These are the forms, symbolic form, classical form, romantic form. A relation to the idea. A relation to the idea means symbolic form. In symbolic form, there's a striving. Okay. A striving for what? A striving to understand. Classical in classical uh, means art. We can attain the things as we have now discussed. And the art form of the same is is sculpture. A romantic, transcending, transcending. To transcend means to go beyond. To go beyond, uh, beyond uh, from where? To go beyond from this material world to a spiritual world. Okay, and for transcendentalism, for transcending from this world, you uh, don't require any type of uh, uh, airplane flight or rocket or other type of uh, things, but with the help of imagination while sitting at the one place, you may transcend yourself. On the uh, basis of uh, our, uh, with the source of uh, the air or the space. But physically, physically you will be uh, here. But imaginatively, or uh, when uh, means spiritually, you will be no more here. And the best uh, and the forms, art forms for the same are painting, poetry, music, right? So this table will certainly help you out to understand that. Uh, the external material, the works are made of, becomes progressively less important across the stage of art. Poetry emerges as the most universal art. So the most universal among them is poetry, art form. Poetry is adequate to all forms of beautiful and extends over all of them. It means that poetry is above all the forms of because its proper element is beautiful imagination. The chief point over here in the poetry is imagination. And imagination is indispensable for every beautiful production. So if the production is beautiful, then it, it must have imagination. No matter to what form of art is belong, uh, what form of art it belongs to. It means that uh, wherever you find the highest level of imagination, level of imagination in the sense that when you look at the work of art, then you may start thinking at the moment, thinking regarding regarding yourself that how you can achieve this point. 
ओके एंड योर थिंकिंग विल सर्टेनली टैक्स यू अपवर्ड सॉरी योर थिंकिंग विल टैक यू अपवर्ड एंड थिंकिंग इज द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग हाउ at this highest stage art now transcends itself and passes from the poetry of the imagination to the prose of thought now here when you go through the poetry you will certainly uh, get the impulse of imagination and then you will frame or design a thought and afterwards you will follow the thought Hegel concludes the introduction grandly. Now, over here, in the following lines, Hegel guides us. Now, therefore, what the particular art realizes in individual works of art is, according to the concept of art, only the universal forms of the self-unfolding idea of beauty. It means that in any work of art, you will certainly find the idea of beauty. and no any form of art uh, can be devoid of it it is as external actualization of this idea that the wide pantheon of art is rising its architect and builder is the self comprehending spirit of beauty who is the architect of this art who can be builder of this art is certainly self comprehending spirit of beauty the beauty which you have comprehended or understood in yourself now it is your duty now it is up to you that how you are going to identify spirit of beauty in yourself but to complete it will need the history of the world in its development through thousands of the years but the thing over here is that it will need the history of the world it means that for example if you want to elaborate all these things then certainly uh, they require thousands of the words uh, uh, thousands of the years in order to understand it and those people who have insight are those people who possess insight those people who have highest level of imagination they can achieve it within moments right and they are no more uh, means uh, uh, dependent upon uh, such type of uh, longest period of time conclusion to the modern reader a lot of this stuff sounds abstract and varied so hold the stuff means hold the philosophy and uh, uh, means uh, all the things which have been mentioned about are uh, such type of lectures on fine arts and uh, importance of fine art and etc it they may they may sound abstract it means that it is the approach of each and every one of us that how do we look at the thing okay but when modern men modern men means who does not pay attention towards such type of uh, things and the spiritual world and then the real world and etc so we have also observed over here around us that there are so many people so many people who are going to uh, fulfill the formalities and nothing else okay formalities means and we are doing each and everything uh, in our daily lives for the sake of sawab and nothing else okay and sawab for whom sawab for us sawab for whom sawab for in, uh, individuals what we have done for others nothing either we have even thought about the world that exists somewhere else no we are associate with this material world material advancement and all these things around us <laughs> and even we avoid truth 
वी अवॉइड ब्यूटी वी मिस गाइड अवर सेल्स विथ ब्यूटी इवन हाउ वी आर सिंपली कन्फाइन टू द आउट वर्ल्ड शेप्स एंड आउटलुक अपियरेंसेज ऑफ द पीपल वॉट हैपन्स वेन अ वेरी मीन्स नाइस आर गुड लुकिंग आर्टिस्ट आर्टिस्ट आर हेरोइन मीन्स शी ओनली एंजॉयज हर लाइफ आर टेन टू फिफ्टीन ईयर्स एंड आफ्टरवर्ड्स शी इज इग्नोर्ड वाई बिकॉज in the eyes of the people she uh, has lost her uh, means appearance so that's why uh, they are looking for someone else so this is this this approach is sensuous approach we will have to move forward we will have to think more than that we will uh, travel uh, means above us are above this world that is called uh, transcendentalism so modern men certainly uh, thinks in different way welcome to hegel okay as an attempt to explain how the world works i find hegel's idealism deeply implausible so these are the views of uh, someone else but he knows a great deal of insight along the way of course this is only the introduction if you are really interested in his work then you may go through his long lectures uh, which may consist of Uh, 13 1300 1300 page, pages and etc and uh, you may go through the books and books and books and etc so now see unfortunately uh, means we are still crawling uh, means on the land okay we don't have even the knowledge of uh, other things over here and our condition is well known to uh, all of us when we are and you will you will observe and i i have lot of experiences in the metro because i have uh, means uh, i have uh, uh, taken countless classes countless classes okay now see those of you who are well aware of these things are they even have no how of the language and literature of when even uh, means you look at your class fellows what do you think where they are yesterday i was asked a question regarding the creative writing so i answered that you no know, see that our students are unable to even have the proper knowledge of techniques of language how how do you how do you discuss the creative writing over here ha huh. those students who have taken pains on their parts and uh, they have worked hard uh, certainly they are in a position to write themselves or to come up with new ideas and you may you may ask them they will start writing why because they have strong background knowledge that they have they have a complete control over the techniques of language there is a, there is a problem Uh, with the students at the university level of sentence structures most of the students are unable to write simple structures of sentence sentences they are even unaware of the punctuation and and comma and full stop and etc how do you expect them to uh, uh, to be well versed in uh, creative writing what do you know uh, how do you say what do you think at the university level on the one hand uh, we have to complete the topics of literature on the other hand how do we learn the techniques of language in the classroom so that's why i always suggest a uh, lot of students over here that uh, please uh, they may work hard and they may not make mistakes as as uh, uh, all of you are well aware that while is speaking means in your presentations how did your your class fellows present even even now see that if we are not even in a position to speak at least in such a way that we may not make 
fundamental mistakes or uh, trifle type of mistakes in sentence structures, even in the pronunciation, even in other things as well. How we can control all these things? We are simply trying our level best to kill the time. Kill the time. And we want to enjoy something else. So now see that even a little type of work, even means uh, such type of things are, uh, we are unable to go through even uh, uh, 10 to 20 pages. Then how we, we will spend more and more time on these uh, type of greatest ideas which have been put forward by such type of uh, philosophers. Last night I was going through only for, I, I simply had time to go through only for 10 minutes, uh, Western philosophy. And uh, it was written over there. And uh, the philosopher himself wrote regarding the Plato and Aristotle that their ideas were not quite good. Are they, they, their, their philosophies were not quite of the highest level to be followed over here. So how do we come to know that who is right and who is not right? Certainly by reading more and more philosophers over here. To go through the more and more philosophies. So where from we may uh, uh, get time to go through them? We don't have. So I have, I have uh, uh, certainly uh, spoken the response to uh, these uh, means uh, sentences over here that if you want to go through the whole the philosophy and all the uh, means uh, uh, works of Hegel in detail, uh, then you will have to um, at least read out the 1,300 pages. 1,300 pages you will have to uh, you will have to read uh, regarding his lectures on the fine art. Anyway, so uh, let us stop over here. And now I want to know your questions and uh, if any one of you is even uh, not quite clear, then I may please uh, answer your questions. So is there any question? Concept is clear, sir. Quite clear. Quite clear. I'm, I'm, uh, means, uh, I'm grateful to you. <laughs> you, I know, I know that you always go through the things and etc. And, and get the uh, ideas from there. And uh, you also possess the strong language. And uh, you have worked hard a lot. But apparently, for example, uh, when you uh, don't speak and um, and uh, uh, means stand silently anywhere that people will never take you as such a uh, means a competent girl as you are. Okay, when you when we look at your body and eye, then it seems as if you are studying in metal. But anyway, it means that body is nothing. Then okay, whatever we have we have learned here, that body is only the form. Spirit means a lot. <laughs> so it is a spirit and a spirit identification, okay, and transcend and uh, imagination and uh, and uh, efforts and uh, each and everything is counted over here. So anyway, anyway, if any one of your class fellows and please I mean uh, uh, suggest to you that whoever approach you. For understanding the same, I uh, first of all, I'm sure that none will approach you. <laughs> why? Because why? Because we are easy going people. We don't want to take uh, uh, pains on our part. But if anyone, anyone of your class fellow, uh, approach you uh, to to help his, him or her out to understand such and such type uh, types of philosophies or words or whatever, then. You must extend your helping hand towards them. That's all. Is there anyone else? Yes, sir. Why not? Why not? Definitely, <laughs> I will do. You, you are ready to do. I know very well, but uh, I pray for them. 
for them i mean for those students who may be ready to ask you <laughs> am i right yes sir we are ready to ask <laughs> Uh, that is also I, I i also appreciate you please i appreciate you that you are in search of things and etc and uh, you always try your level best to understand it and uh, i also pray for uh, those students uh, that they may achieve uh, honor and respect in society and they may uh, also possess the same knowledge they may possess the same knowledge uh whatever uh, they have learned over here uh, through the courses and uh, we have come to know that these are not only uh, simple courses or uh, these are not only simple topics but these topics are more philosophical uh, means uh, over here and they must be followed in real life in order to achieve something so we don't only uh, read them in the books or on the piece of papers but our aim should be to follow them follow them to achieve uh, the highest uh, uh, aim of life for you is there anyone else please no sir everything is clear sir tarika is there right okay okay then uh, uh, we will continue the same uh, tomorrow Uh, at the same time, uh, I think that uh, uh, today I'll 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 go through your uh, topics of media discourse analysis, and then I'll let you know on WhatsApp, please. Thank you very much. Okay, sir. Thank you very okay, much. Okay, sir. Thank you thank so you much, much, sir. Thank you.